Thanks for checking our channel here. This is going to be a, um, a repair video on a uh, it's on a Gallagher M150 older style unit. Pretty pretty decent unit for the most part, but we're going to go through this and see if we can get it going. Um, I started working on it and I thought it was one part, and I like I got looking a little deeper. I'm like, ooh, I don't think it's that part at all. So what this unit does, it comes on and flash and clicks, but it's very very low output, and it's like two and a half. Two and a half kb or so which should be like five to seven you know on average so i thought it was gonna be the transformer right here but i started pulling the transformer off and it wouldn't come off there real easily so i was like let me just pull the whole thing off but i got looking and the solder joint right there has burned up and loose so what we're going to do is i'm going to pull this that's part of the capacitor we're going to pull this capacitor completely off and we're not going to use that hole right there because if we try to resolder that back up, this is you know the connection's already already burnt, and it's just gonna not make a good connection. It's asking for trouble. So I've just I've done enough of these type of repairs like this that you're just asking for trouble trying to just band-aid it and all add some solder to it. Well, that okay, that will work for a little bit. And then since our arc in here in about a week or two, three weeks or a month, and it's gonna break down in about three months, and right back to where you started at. So. We're going to um, desolder both those contacts for that capacitor, and we'll put a, uh, a new capacitor in place. May not be the same one, but it should be the same rating for the most part. Maybe the size a little bit bigger, because this transformer that's in this one is also used on the uh, Gallagher M300. The boards are different. Transformers are the same. And, and I think on the M300 they have a separate capacitor going to the board. But yeah, as this tab right there is all burned up, it's all burnt up on the back side there as well. Not a common failure. Actually, I gotta look at that and see what size that was. Let me go get a capacitor for it. Okay, it has it had an eight in there. Let's see what we got here. That's the wrong one. grab a capacitor. Can't find it yet. Let's see what we got here. I just used one the other day. I know we had a few, a few of them. All right, finally found it. So this is the same rating as the one that's on there. It's just a different shape. One thing I'm worried about at the moment is is it going to be too tall if we put it in there is it going to be too tall we're going to drill Plug these 
power cord wires off the board. So get my hands free a little bit better. Okay. Oh, there's nothing underneath there that we should have to worry about. Plug this in here, so I'm going to put that right there. Kind of centered. I'll go right there. I'm going to drill a hole. Let's see. So I'll put one lead. Set this third hand sometimes. Not temporarily put this unit kind of halfway back together. That way I know that the past when I go shut the case, that the case will shut. Perfect. Okay, now I'm Saw that one there, and this one will add solder to it. And then we're going to take a piece of wire and we're going to jumper from that contact to not the same spot that soldered it before, but somewhere along that same track because I don't want to risk it arcing there again. So we're going to strip this back just a little bit. Heat the two up. Alright, looks good. I'll take a pair of snips. I'm going to put a little solder on just to clean that spot up just a little bit to help it out. Not hurt anything. Okay, so now if the transformer is good, hopefully we should be good to go. Let's put this board back in there. Take these tabs and screw them up. Now we'll take a Squeeze these down a little bit so that way they're nice and snug. Put these on. About right, yeah. All 
All right, let's plug this thing in. I think this ought to fix us up, I hope. It's flashing. We're getting like around two, two and a half what we're reading before. A little over 6,000 volts come out of it right where it's supposed to be. Good to go. So this one's done. We'll clean up the little tabs there. I got some a little bit of arcing going on there. Terminal bolt, not bad, but a little bit. Let's clean that up. Shut this one down and move on to the next one. So hopefully if you've got one of these older Gallagher M M150s, uh, they don't make this model anymore and they make an M160, but I think these ones are better built and at least do some work to them. They're new or small ones, you can't do any repairs really to them. All right, well until next time, we'll see you guys later on and have a good rest of your day.